picture a city-bound Tarzan, hopping fences, climbing walls, even jumping from building to building right in the downtown core. That sums up a growing urban phenomenon. Officially known as parkour, its practitioners consider it good fun, and they've got the scrapes and bruises to prove it. Clifton Joseph has that story. Rita Ayaboni has been watching her son Daniel play in the backyard for 25 years now. And he's not about to stop. I watch him practice out there all the time. I watch him practice. Sometimes he doesn't see me because I don't want him to see me. You know, sometimes I hide behind the plants there and uh, I watch him. For Daniel, this child's jungle gym is a place for freedom, expression and play. But what looks like child's play is actually a new and radical form of urban movement, something called parkour. We all sort of grow up and there's that certain point where we hit and then we just say, okay, you know, real life starts now. We can't play anymore. And why does life have to be like that? He was always involved in all kinds of sports, soccer, um, baseball, volleyball, basketball, basketball. Yeah. in high school, in elementary school. He was always involved in some sort of sports. Parkour is difficult to classify. It's sort of a sport, kind of a discipline. It's a way to move from point A to point B as efficiently as possible, regardless of obstacles. Parkour burst into the North American consciousness in the latest James Bond movie. But it really started to spread years ago on the internet where parkour's creators posted radical and dangerous stunts. I saw this video and it was just something totally different. I'd never seen anything like this before. And that was basically it. You know, after seeing that video, it's like, I gotta do that. David Bell, parkour's French creator shown here, gave the keen Toronto youth the chance to train with him on a North American tour. After learning from the parkour legend, Dan became a traceur, following in the footsteps of the master. Dan brought back what he learned. Others wanted in. You know, there's like so many people coming here. Yeah, there's so many people coming. Dan, 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 what did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? And I didn't want to talk about it yet until I had enough time to sit back and really say, okay, you know, this is what I learned. This is the changes we got to make here. Dan did spread the message and the skills. He built a website and started connecting with people like Jonathan, a parkour novice. It's beautiful. Nice little cut. Should go clean it though first. It's uh, something I noticed ever since I started doing this is you start to see things differently. I mean, uh, you might see just a walkway with some fences and uh, I see something I can easily hop over and grab onto and then run over this and uh, hop over that. And it's really curious. I'll just be walking with any friends and I'll notice, oh, that would be a lot of fun to do. You know what I mean? Okay, so what we're going to do today, obviously, because there's a lot of people, we can't go all in one area. We're going to do a similar setup to what we did last year. Before long, Dan grew an enormous following. This summer, parkour enthusiasts from all over Canada came to Toronto to get in on the action and spend time with the blossoming guru. All right, the arms around forward each time, each arm ten times. Loosen up those shoulders. They admire him. They follow him around, and I don't know. It's 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 kind of weird it's, to explain. It's, it's tough to explain, but. Uh, we see it all over the world, you know, there's, there's leaders and there's followers. Hey, let's do 10 jumping jacks fast! Go! It's important to get back to moving, like the roots of movement. The roots of movement were outside, you know. They weren't inside a gym on a treadmill or an elliptical machine, stuff like that. To me, that's not movement. I see people on treadmills and I think hamster, right away. I think hamster. Yeah, touch your toes, ten times. There's no reason why you can't be a child your whole life, you know? And it's just, it's something, it's not so much parkour, but it's something that, you know, in life, we should always have fun. We should always smile at the end of the day. You know, people do take life too seriously and maybe 
through this, they'll realize, you know, we can, everybody can get out there and play.